My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. I got two. A little bit earlier, we were able to cop a size 12 and the Susan Air Max missing link. And what I did to get that was I quick tasked it from the kickstation monitor, and then all my tasks went on kickstation. Turns out login is required, so I quickly made a login and then took the Shopify checkout URL and then checked out manually. It was quite a bit of a process, but that login required caught a lot of people off guard, so that's why a lot of people copped, but mostly they either cop like one to three. I didn't really see anybody cook like super hard, but surely there are people out there who did and that were ready for the login required. But anyways, we got a size 12. That is one of the best sizes as far as resale value, uh, as of right now anyway. So that's pretty good. A few hours ago, what happened was Travis Scott shock dropped the Jordan 1 lows. Now, I knew that this shock drop was going to happen tonight. It was just a matter of when it will happen. Unfortunately, the timing did not go in my favor because I was over at my mom's house helping Joy bring stuff over from over there back to here. So I was like carrying a bunch of stuff. There was just no way I could have realistically went for it at the exact time that it dropped. So that was pretty unfortunate. I did not even get a chance to go for those. But anyways, we have two packages that came in the mail. Let's open them up. Size nine and a half. Another size nine and a half for the Yeezy Lundmarks. Okay, something very strange happened earlier. So the Para SB Dunks were scheduled to drop at 6 a.m. EST at BSML. And then right before the drop, those guys sneakily changed the date to tomorrow instead at 6 a.m. EST. So essentially what happened was I woke up at 6 a.m. for no reason, along with many other people who were anticipating the drop to be today and those guys just changed the date till tomorrow and that's so weird there was no announcement or anything it was just like eh let's do it tomorrow
I got him. Yo, I got him. What the fuck? Yo, I am shaking right now. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this happened so fast I could not record my initial reaction. I was going stupid. <laughs> I was going stupid. Oh my goodness. This is wild. I cannot believe I got these, yo. It took me so long to get these. This, is, this isn't a good size, but I had to go for it because for all of them, it was saying that, that it was sold out and I, I couldn't... I, I couldn't check it out like I was trying all the different sizes so I was like you know what screw it I'm gonna go for a bad size and then um, boom I ended up getting them so this there's really no such thing as a bad size but I got them holy crap yo shout out to they helped me get these with the early information Whew. thank you guys this is freaking amazing holy crap yo Yo, all right, so size 13 isn't as good as the other sizes, but actually it might be the worst size. No, it's not the worst size, but anyways, so the, the selling price right now on StockX is 1550 Yo, so basically I made over a thousand dollars in a few seconds. Can you imagine? I've made over a thousand dollars all within a few just touching a few buttons on my phone. Oh my goodness. We got a package in the mail. When these first released, I didn't think I was ever gonna see these in my hands because these were honestly super hard to get. But in the end, recently, Kickstation held it down for me so we're finally gonna be unboxing these Leicas. Damn, the box is pretty busted could be worse though this one is a size 12 last time I checked this is one of the better sizes out there that paper is pretty oh what does that say on the box think of them as long lost descendant of the Air Max family inspired by virtual virtual right, that's too much work to read Nike put so much detail in all of their shoes. It's amazing. The inside is like a cork kind of material. I don't know if it's actually cork. It doesn't feel like it, but... Oh shoot. I was gonna take this out, but I don't want to ruin it. It's really cool either way. Here's the tongue. Oh shoot, I got a huge glue stain right there. See that line going like that? Maybe that's why they restocked. They restocked the defective pairs. It's not that big of a deal. I could probably remove it with some tweezers. So I'll have to do that later. What is this? I don't know what this is supposed to be, but okay. By the way, is the Off-White Air Force One ship. So we're going to be unboxing those soon. I cannot wait to hold those in my hands. And also, in about a few weeks, I'm gonna head out to England. So before that, I'm gonna try to make some sales and get rid of some of my inventory because I have been holding on to a lot of my things and I need to make some space and get some money. I'll see you in the next episode.